Tai and Wen Chan Zhang, a PhD student from the Ubicom Lab at National University of Singapore. Here I'm glad to share our paper, Device Cam to Mitigate Image Perturbations with Faithful Viral Explanations of Machine Learning. AI can recognize an object from an image and generate a saliency map as explanation. Look at this example using BRADCAM, a common saliency map approach to explain where the model looks at when labeling the photo as fish. When working on clean images, we consider the saliency map as unbiased, since it can highlight correct pixels, which enhances the model's transparency and improves human trust. So far, so good. However, when images are distorted, such as under image blur, although the model can still recognize fish, the saliency map becomes deviated and misleading by highlighting the man's face area, and we consider it as biased cam. We solve this problem with the biased cam, a self-supervised training approach that helps the CN model to generate less deviated explanations on distorted images. The world we live in is not perfect where distortion, corruption, or perturbation happens in data, such as an image blurred with a privacy protection scheme, with the wrong color temperature due to camera missettings, or with varied daylight conditions. Here to discuss them in a unified way, we consider all these non-perfect images as biased. Now let me show how our technical approach works. A CN model trained with clean images can produce more meaningful saliency maps, or so-called unbiased camps. However, when querying with blurred images, this model not only has the chance to predict wrongly, but also generates deviated saliency maps, or biased camps, that highlight irrelevant pixels. One naive solution is by fine-tuning the model on blurred images as augmented data. Although calibrating the prediction, this still suffers from producing deviated saliency maps, since the training process is not aware of explanation. To fix this issue, we explicitly formulate the saliency map generation as a secondary prediction task. We liberate the information from unbiased camps and construct a self-supervised learning task to help the model generate debiased camps on blurred images which are similar to unbiased saliency maps. Our approach also supports a more realistic, multi-biased setting, where training images are augmented to different blur bias levels, and the model needs to predict that information as a third task. Bringing all these features together, we designed a multi-task, multi-biased architecture. Let's see how much camps are distorted and how well device cam can help. We evaluated for different prediction tasks, image classification and image captioning, and different bias types, including synthesized biases such as image blur, color temperature shift, and natural bias such as day-to-night light change. Across this, image bias leads to cam distortions. Relative to unbiased cam, we see that biased cam becomes very misleading. This is still problematic if we only fine-tune the CN model on biased images with their labels. Fortunately, the biased cam can recover the explanation faithfully, which means even for strongly biased images, the biased camps are similar to unbiased camps. As can be seen here, when testing with the base model, both the prediction performance and the explanation faithfulness degrade with the increasing bias level. Fine-tuning the model with simple data augmentation can hardly handle this issue, especially for saliency map faithfulness. In contrast, our device training approach can improve both the prediction performance and the explanation faithfulness, no matter under single bias or multi-bias settings. And our approach can achieve more faithful explanations for different prediction tasks and bias types. Next, we explored how sensitive are people to bias camps and are the bias camps good enough in user studies with an image label verification task. 
We objectively measured saliency map truthfulness with a grid selection question. Here we considered a saliency map to be truthful if the highlighted areas were consistent with human's grid selection opinion. Then we show participants a blurred image with different machine-generated saliency maps and ask them to give subjective ratings. We launched a study with 32 participants recruited from the Amazon Mechanical Turk platform. We found that although saliency map truthfulness degraded with the increasing bias level, the bias cam could always improve the truthfulness. We also measured whether participants considered the saliency map helpful in an image label verification. Instead of a common multiple choice question, we use the balls and beans question to elicit the answer as a probability distribution. This allows us to measure the participant's confidence of the correct label, even if her most likely choice is wrong. We collected the subjective helpfulness rating on saliency map in a study with 162 participants. The result indicates that although all cam variants do not help people leave heavily blurred images, and bias cams tend to degrade helpfulness. The bias cam can significantly improve the user's decision performance on moderately blurred images. And users generally consider the device cam more helpful in labeling regardless of the blur intensity. By analyzing participants' retinals, we found that participants consider saliency maps more truthful or representative because the highlighted regions have accurate size and shape, or capture more semantically relevant cues. They would consider the saliency map helpful for recognizing a blurry image since it helped focus humans' attention or provided hints, benefiting the process to form hypotheses and confirm suspected objects. To sum up, we identified that the contextual bias in image may cause misleading explanations. We provided a self-supervised approach to achieve device explanations, and we designed sensitive measures for saliency map explanations and found various advantages. Please check our paper for more details. Thanks for listening, and I'm glad to take questions.